Yo, what's good people, it's Jay Cactus, and in this video, I'm going to be cooking up using UVI's Mosaic, which is now included in FL Cloud Pro. Mosaic is sick for sparking inspiration with chords, sequences, and more. And with the recent update, there's now a huge library of playable instruments. So I want to show you how you can use it as part of your workflow to make some hard beats. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're in FL Studio. I've got Mosaic open and instantly you'll see that we had these different styles and we have a mix of instruments, drums and kits. Kits just being a mixture of instruments and drums. Usually what I like to do is just select a style and then we could go to something like kits. Just open one up. Now if you look at the bottom, you can see which notes have been assigned chords and sounds. So the white keys are going to be playing different chords which you can see are also shown here. The black keys will be different effects, so I could play chords mixed with the effects. If we just want to spark some quick ideas, we can click this. This is going to give us a random preset. Or if we like the preset, we just wanted to switch things up a bit, we could just hit mutate. That sounds kind of hard. I like this chord here, so I'm going to lock that with a key. Let's go minor. And we could actually go into the chords and let's go for something dark. We could just cycle through some. Let's try a new sound. Let's actually try a pad. That sounds crazy. I'm feeling this sound. Let's keep this. I think, yeah, we'll go to minor for the chords. Let's try dark again. See, like that. I think we can make something with this, you know. You can hear the sound that you're using has effects applied to them, but if you want to change that effect chain, you can just cycle through the different chains here, and then you can adjust the mix level. Maybe we want to go for a bit of a phase. Maybe this one. So I'm liking this sound, but I don't want to use bass yet. So all I need to do is go into the chord I'm playing by clicking here. And you can see each one is actually made up of multiple sounds. So we want to keep that. I want that too, so this will be the bass. So we can turn it off here. Let's just record something in real quick. I might even add this effect as well. This is just going to give us the foundation. If you want to adjust the global effect chain, just go into effects here and you can see you can change everything you need to. But also if you want to adjust the effects that the black notes are creating, you can go to the key modifier up here. So I'm just using that one D sharp effect. So I might just bring down the intensity. So we can adjust that a bit. And then what I really love about this is now that we've got these chords, we can actually export the MIDI. So if we want to layer these with something else, or if we just wanted to take a look and see what was going on, go down to this chord section here and select chord MIDI generate. Now we can actually drag this in. This just makes it so much easier so you don't have to try and replay the chords. That was just to give us the initial idea, but it needs a lot more weight to it. So I want to find another pad. If you want to quickly preview the sounds as well, once you have Mosaic selected in UVI Workstation, you can just click on any of these just to know what sound you're going to get. I want to find a pad. That's kind of hard. This one's gonna fit the vibe. So let's open this. To use it as a playable instrument, just click here and then select keyboard mode. Don't want the bass. I'm just gonna use this pad. So we can just drag this straight onto the other one. So you can see it's quite a tense progression. So I'm gonna build on this a bit and I wanna try a different preset. Well, let's try this one. Just the MIDI a bit. In that pad, let's go to effects, go to reverb. I want it up quite high. And then to thicken up the sound, let's actually copy these down an octave. It's starting to sound a bit more full now. 
All right, what I'm thinking next is some type of sequence. So I'm going to copy Mosaic again. Let's find an app that we like. This one's hard. Let's try this. Select D minor to match the key. I like this first preset here, but again, I'm going to get rid of the bass. I think what I might do is just have this one note playing through. I might turn this one off as well. Let's get this weird sort of texture sound. If we want to adjust the sequence, just go into motion. And then you can choose the preset or you can play around with the groove. Change the speed, mode, steps and the octave. Also, you can see from here, I brought this all the way down to get this sort of halftime effect. It's going to filter out a lot of that low end. So here we just got this weird art texture effect. I think it works with it. Okay, next up, I think I want some keys to add more weight to it. So I'm going to pull up UVI Workstation and we'll use Model D. We'll go for this mellow dark preset. Even just that bass note makes it sound hard. I'm going to keep that by itself because I want to add either some chords or a count melody with this piano. So I'm going to clone it because I might process that differently. Could even copy that MIDI in from the pad. Let's pitch it up an octave because strum it. Randomize the velocity with Alt and R. And then I just want to think of a little count melody. I want to play something like that. Yeah, let's get something repetitive going here. I'm just going to take out some of the lows. Just really boost up the high mids. All right, we're almost there with the melody. I just want to add a couple more layers. I'm hearing some vocals on this and then maybe just some other weird texture. Yeah, maybe a choir, you know. Some fire ones in Mosaic. Maybe this, that could work. But again, I'm just going to use this as a playable instrument because I've already got the chords I want. Vocals are crazy. I think this is ready to flip now. So this is a process I like to do a lot. As soon as I've got my melody, especially these dark ones, I like to render, reverse, or even chop up the melody. I want a few different sections first. We'll have one without the piano, one with everything, one with the piano, one with the vocals, and then just something a bit simpler. Yeah. All right, let's try these. So we'll go to the master, arm disc recording, then hit Alt and R. And this is just going to consolidate it because now it's going to be easier to manipulate. Let's set this to stretch. We'll hit reverse. Could even pitch it up as well. That sounds crazy. I think we could definitely work with something here. All right, let's see how we could chop this. Something like that would be crazy. Yeah, let's just chop it like that. So we can just make these slices. Make sure this is set to generic bleeding so there's no clicks in the chops. And now we can just rearrange this. This beat's gonna sound crazy. Just need the drums in there. Yeah, there may be half time in one part. Yeah, this is going to be bad, you know. I think I want to go for more of a hood trap sound. So I'm going to start with a snare. Yeah, let's go for something hard sounding like this. Alright, so that's the main bounce. Let's grab a few of the sounds I like. We'll go for more of a trap one. Let's copy that. And then I like this one, but this could be more of a perk.
Caught to that. Here we go. We really need some low end in this one, man. So I'm just going to grab an 808. I think something like this will sound crazy. Of course, on the master, I've just got the soft clipper and I'm just going to drive this into it. We'll just increase the out and then I've just got it boosted like 7%. So that'll be the main pattern, but I'm probably going to add a second sound as well. Just want to change a couple of the notes. Let's bring this one up and out too. With that main snare, I'm actually going to add a little bit of delay. Just going to help with the bounce a bit. Well, you know what? A bell might sound sick with this. I was actually looking for an 8 weight, but this one's going to work. I just want a weird sounding 808. It's anything unique that's going to work as the in-between notes. If I'm going to add a few different 808s, I like to set the cut by number to the same one. That way, when one hits and then the other one hits, they're going to cancel each other out. Well, maybe a log drum, you know. That's kind of hard. Yeah, here we go. Alright, this beat's sounding hard so far. I just want to add a few more things though. I feel like it's missing a bit of high end in the drums. So with this style of beat, we can add hi-hats, but just sparingly. We'll just grab a hat like this. Even just those two. Maybe a couple hat rolls as well. Could grab a full one in, but then just chop a few of them out. Alright, I'm just going to add an open hat just to cover a bit more high end. So we can just add the first one here. And then the second one maybe here. Alright, this beat's definitely got enough layers. When I arrange it, I'll find space for everything. I'm going to split the drums and just bring them back out into the playlist. Just copy those drums out a couple times. I'm going to save the log drum for the second half. And with the eight weights, I'm just going to switch it up after every eight bar. So we could just do something simple like this. Switch this up. Okay, so we've got this hook section where most of the energy will be and then it's going to go into the verse. So we'll just cut some of the drums. And then I'll just save some of the perks and then we'll have one more section. There'll be a bit of a bridge and I think in this part we'll just keep the snare in. And then maybe introduce something like a sub bass. Let's try a reese bass. Yeah, this could work. Yeah, that drop back into the hook sounds crazy. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. And if you want to try Mosaic for yourself, it's now part of FL Cloud. So we'll leave links in the description. Vibe sounded crazy. So this beat came out hard, you know. Now we've got the log drum. In the comments what you think of this beat and if you want to try a mosaic for yourself the link's in the description
Yeah, this sub base just switched it up nicely. Then we come back to the hook. 